Hello, hello and welcome to another update video about Bitcoin. I have to say not too much happened since the last update, but I still wanted to give you another one um, because obviously today we had a little bit of volatility. Nothing major though, but I think that dip today triggered obviously the C wave to the downside in our yellow scenario there. Um, we talked about it. We've been talking about this wave for now for the last couple of weeks, really. Okay. And I think... You know, obviously, people don't like red candles and red days. However, when we're only going up and there are no pullbacks, people always ask, when do we get the next pullback? When do we get the next pullback? And what we see at the moment, and, you know, I know sometimes there's a bit of panic. It's not really a massive sell-off that we see at the moment. Surely, altcoins get, altcoins are bleeding here and there. But to be honest, these altcoins they are always very volatile, right? So that's very important. That's very normal. And a lot of the altcoins are currently either in a wave two or a wave four. These can be opportunities in a bullish market, in a market in which pullbacks have been very, very shallow in recent weeks and months, rather months actually. And also Bitcoin is now finally doing this correction that many have been waiting for. Now, we dipped already into our support region here around the 20th of March. Then we rallied. That was an expected rally. It was also expected that it's only a corrective rally. And we could now dip into this orange support region again, maybe even a little bit lower than on the 20th of March. It is currently expected that we yeah, get ideally into this region between 59k and 54.9k. I, I did... Uh, <clears throat> accidentally in, send, in one of the written updates I sent to gold members earlier today, I did write 50, well, 54.9 to 50K. I think it shocked um, a few people, but uh, no, I corrected that quickly. So I don't know, there was a bit of a, I think I wanted to write 50.9 or something, whatever. And it's, it's 59.1. Okay, 59.1 and 54.9. So this is an ideal target area. And why is that? Well, that's because... In this yellow count, which is the preferred one, we have an A wave down and a B wave. And then with that information, we can calculate a target for the C wave. This is currently the preferred scenario. Of course, it could be that we are still morphing, transforming in this correction and that the B wave extends. This is currently not the preferred scenario. But I added this scenario today after I removed the previously quite optimistic alternative count which was a diagonal yeah but it was not well founded anyway and it was only the alternative and yeah you know it, it's worth having a bullish alternative in a correction but it was not the preferred count and the preferred count was we're forming this abc structure but i wanted to add still another short-term bullish count now i decided to add an extended b wave this scenario, again, it is not preferred, especially because I have no evidence for it at the moment. It's just a scenario that I added because I don't want anybody to be surprised if the B wave extends, which they regularly do in these wave four corrections. It accounts, this scenario accounts for the, the tendency of a B wave to extend, especially in a wave four. It also is there so that you know where roughly you could take profits should the market make some available. I wouldn't trade for this scenario, but it's there for anybody who, you know, if the market makes it available, those profits, then we can measure the target for the C wave and it might be reasonable to take some partial profits up there. But as I said, there is no evidence for it. Okay, so that's the scenario that's on the chart. We also talked about a possible triangle here. It looks like a triangle but I haven't got enough waves for it, so I don't even show the triangle count on the chart. I prefer yellow. In the yellow count, shortly we should break below 63K, which is next support, and then dip into the orange support region and target the 100% extension level next at 59.1K, then the 1.236 maybe at 56.4K, and then here this area around 55K is also quite important, and that's actually the 38.2 retracement, which is normally, we would say, the ideal target for a wave four in general. But then looking at short-term projections, 
the 100% extension is very relevant, 59.1k. Where exactly the price will find a reaction or form a reaction, we will have to see. You will need a crystal ball for that. But they are levels to watch and they are levels of interest in this correction. There is also the lower support boundary here of the support range at 50.7k. This is a support I only acknowledge. It is key support. I don't expect the price to get there. None of these short-term projections actually show that we should get there, but it could still happen, but it's not in my focus at the moment. So I, I, say, I would say rather in the upper half of this support area. And then we could start a fifth wave from there. So this is not a bearish count or scenario or anything. It allows for a deeper pullback, yep, and it allows for a pre-halving correction Still quite a substantial one if we go down to 55k, for example. But it's an overall bullish market. And as I said before, this pullback could be one of the rare opportunities in this bull market to actually add positions for anybody who wants to. That's my update about Bitcoin. Hope you liked the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And if you really like the content, then please check out the channel membership. Also, make sure that you follow us on Instagram and Twitter for additional content. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.